in celebration of the brand new announcement for Harry Potter, the RPG world thing coming out for PlayStation 5, which I'm absolutely going to buy and I cannot wait to buy. But of course, you know, Sony kind of fucked up the whole release process so nobody can buy a PlayStation 5 right now. <clears throat> we're going to take a Harry Potter quiz. And the first one that we're going to take is which Harry Potter character are you? So along with the mumbling, let's begin. If you weren't in Gryffindor, which house would you be in? That's so oddly specific. That's weird. It's really weird. I guess if it wasn't Gryffindor, which I don't think I would... I, I, I know I wouldn't be in Gryffindor anyway. I'm actually a Hufflepuff. I already know that. I'm a Hufflepuff. I took the quiz like way, way back when. You know what? The thing for that is going to be below. You can watch that video if you'd like. If not, whatever. Uh, but if I wasn't in Gryffindor, I would definitely be a Hufflepuff no matter what. Uh... Choose which best describes you as a high school student. <sighs> I always excelled. I preferred hanging with friends. My, I was always the kid getting into trouble. I really was. Uh, I was I was not a good kid in high school. I actually... <laughs> I got suspended multiple times. I actually dropped out before I finished high school. Uh, so I never actually finished high school. L new thing to know about me. I never finished high school. However, I am two classes away from completing college, so <laughs> fuck you, education system. So I, I think I'll go with that one. I was always getting in trouble. If you had to pick, which would you choose as your wands core if you were... Ooh, that's... Hmm. All of these are really, really cool. I love dragons and I love phoenixes, but I think thestrals are really, really cool. I like, I like Thestrals. Like the, the, yep, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're, we'll go with that. What was your childhood like? Had a very lonely childhood with few friends and family around. Eh, not really. Normal, my parents supported me and I never pushed boundaries. Eh. Have a big family, so childhood was pretty chaotic. Kinda. I had two older brothers and an older sister. Um, I don't know. I guess, it, it, my parents, you know, my, my mom supported me. I, I didn't have a dad, so, I mean... <laughs> Kudos to me. I didn't have to worry about two. My mom supported me in pretty much anything that I did She liked the fact that I did music and stuff like that. So she always supported no matter like what I did She wanted me to finish college. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, I guess normal to, In my sense of the word. What would you say is your biggest flaw? I could sometimes be closed-minded other people. That's very untrue uh, any type of idea that somebody would like give to me I would at least try to think of it from their perspective even if it has to be something that I'm like very very against uh I could sometimes be arrogant eh not really I could sometimes be stubborn yeah that's true I get jealous not anymore uh when I was in high school yes very much so I could sometimes be a bit moody yes uh take things too seriously no sometimes I don't take things seriously enough I could sometimes be reckless Eh, I think I could be sometimes a bit too moody. I get very, very down sometimes. Not moody is in the sense of like, I get really like, I just get very silent sometimes. Also, it's it's very, I, I won't say it's very easy to anger me, but like once I do get angry, it's <laughs> very hard for me to get rid of that anger. So there's that. Uh, choose your favorite member of the Weasley family. Ooh. Ooh, where is Charlie? What the fuck? Why isn't Charlie on here? Charlie's my favorite Weasley. Why is it? You're missing like a whole other like third of the family. You've got Molly, uh, Percy. Where the fuck is Percy? You don't have, you don't have Molly, Percy, Arthur, Charlie, or even the Fabian twins. Fabian twins. Fabian. Fabio. Fabio. You know what I mean? You're missing, like, a whole other part of the family. What the fuck? I, I guess, at a, and you have to choose between George or Fred? Really? I guess. I guess that makes sense. I guess Bill Weasley would be my next favorite. Uh, choose the career that you would pick for yourself if you had to choose. Mmm. Police officer. No. Comedian. No. I'm not funny. President. Fuck that. Detective. I'm not that smart. Actor. I guess. Teacher, I hate kids. Actor. <laughs> what would you choose as your portrayal? I don't hate kids. I just, I would never want to deal with them for an extended amount of time. That's, that's, that's my limit. I don't want to deal with kids like 24 fucking hours a day. 
What would you choose as your Patronus if you had to choose? A stag, an otter, or a Jack Russell? This is literally Harry, Hermione's, and Ron's. Is this, am I only gonna be able to choose between three people? Or is it gonna give me only three people? I guess I didn't look it up, I have no idea. Uh, I guess a, I guess a Jack, cause I love dogs. So I guess a Jack Russell Terrier. I'm Ron We Ronald Weasley! You drove the car? I would do that, stupid shit. Actually, you know what? I guess I could be a Ron Weasley. I, I could see that. I could totally see that. I don't know. I... It's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to see myself exactly as Ron Weasley. But I guess it does make sense. I definitely wouldn't be a Harry Potter, that's for sure. I would not be a Harry. Uh, I also would definitely not be a Hermione. But mostly because Hermione is like very... Very, I, I'm very bookish, but I'm not that bookish. I'm also not like super snooty, which I've always like thought of Hermione as. It's very snooty. Ron's kind of a dick sometimes, but I guess so can I. But I don't know. It's whatever. Oh, there was only three P. There's three potential quiz results. Okay, that's that sucks. You know what? Since that one was so short, we're gonna do uh, which Hogwarts class would you be best at? And we're gonna speed run this because. I don't want to take too terribly long. Uh, where would you spend most of your time at Hogwarts? Ooh, that's a good hacking question. Oh, the astronomy tower outside with the animals and creatures. Eh, that might be a good one. At the Quidditch pitch, anywhere I can practice spells. I think, honestly, I would probably be anywhere that I can practice spells. Because I would want to be practicing spells as much as possible. Because, like, as a muggle... You would obviously be more interested in practicing spells. I don't know. Maybe people would be more interested in in flying and stuff like that. For me, I would want to practice spells. Choose a career that interests you. Astronaut or scientific researcher, zoologist or veterinarian, software developer. Yeah, it's funny because my career is software developer. I'm actually, I'm an IT technician. So I guess this is probably... This is, this is literally the thing that, in, it doesn't interest me the most, but it does make a decent amount of money. So, I guess out of all of them, I would probably be that. Uh, which interests you the most about magic? Magical creatures, how to fly, learning spells so I can duel. I wouldn't want to duel, that's the thing. Learning all the great wiz wizards and witches, how to protect myself using, that would be kind of cool. Uh, how magical plants. See, the plants thing would really, really interest me too, but I'm really not a plant person. Learning how to use spells, that would be legit. You can already learn about stars and planets. I don't know why that's a thing in the wizarding world. I guess, like, as far as, like, astronomy and, astro like, astrology shit goes, like, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't, it doesn't interest me that much. Um, learning how to brew magical potions. It's between these two. I guess in order to transform objects, because I would love to transform shit. Like, think of it. You could turn these Milano cookies into other Milano cookies. That's how it works, right? We're going to go with it. What would be the most likely reason that you would get into trouble? Oh, that's rough. Getting into duel with another student without permission from it. You have to get permission from a teacher to duel. Flying with Madame Hoot? No, definitely not. Keeping an illegal pet? Mm, maybe. Mixing a polyg- No. Sneaking into the astronomy tower? No. Instead of that, taking magical ingredients? No, that's stealing. Finding a troll? Why would I do that? Sneaking into the restricted- You know what? Probably that. It, it would probably be that. Sneaking into the restricted section of the library. Uh, which shop in Dying and Alley would you be most excited for? Ooh. Definitely not the wand shop, because like you go in, you get one wand, that's it. Uh, Quidditch supply? I really don't care about flying. Uh, the cauldron shop would be kind of cool. The emporium, not so much. Flourish and blots, maybe, yeah. The apothecary, eh. Wizarding equipment, maybe. Honestly, I think flourish and blots, because I still love books. I think that would probably be my best bet. Choose a book that would much interest you. Book of monsters, potion making, 1000 magical herbs, standard book of spells. Dark Forces, A Guide to Self-Protection, History of Magic, Beginner Guide to Transfiguration. I guess Transfiguration. I have a feeling that I'm probably going to get Transfiguration just because I've managed to choose it twice in this quiz. 
<laughs> I got it. I knew it. I had no doubt in my mind the transfiguration was going to be my best bet. Yeah, that makes sense. I would love to transfigure stuff. You could transfigure animals into like inanimate objects. You know what I mean? I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want that? Also, it kind of sucks. I was thinking it was also going to be defense against the dark arts because I would love to learn like spells and how to protect myself and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like the I feel like Hogwarts in most schools uh, that were like created by J.K. Rowling didn't get enough like backstory. Um, obviously, they have like a really huge history behind them. Uh, but I feel like it's more so. It, it, it could be a lot better than what it is like really you have like defense against the dark arts you have charms and stuff why don't you have things like of course you can go for like masteries later on after hogwarts but why wouldn't you have stuff like you know like eventually like create like learning the the knowledge of spells like the creation of spells i feel like that would be something that you know a lot of students would want to learn you know stuff like that some of these are just you know, not really, some of these just really ha don't really interest me, but I don't know. Y anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can go ahead and take these quizzes if you would like to. I'll leave them down in the description below if you'd like to check them out for yourself and see which class you would like to or which character you would be. There's a ton more quizzes uh, over on this Harry Potter quizzes site, so I'll make sure to put this in the description as well just in case you want you know, to check it out for yourself. So again, thank you. Make sure you drink your water, stay healthy. Good later.